When you slice your finger while dicing onions, do you continue cutting or do you stop and address the issue literally at hand? Hi, I'm Kirsten D. Samuel, Aftershock Recovery Method Coach. And in this video, we're going to quickly look at nine common questions that women ask that can help you start processing the pain after discovering your husband's struggle with porn. When you experience the pain of porn invading your marriage, do you keep on keeping on, putting your head down, or do you do anything to do it to address the issue? There are some obvious differences between a bloody finger and the pain of a destructive secret. And I think you might agree with me that the deeper pain and the more troublesome wound results from discovering your husband's struggle with porn. And I see how deep that betrayal in a marriage can cut when I talk with women like you who are in this struggle. And it was my struggle too. When your marriage and life experience the shock and then the aftershocks from discovering porn has invaded your marriage, you need to know what to do next. And then you need to hear this. Do something. Don't ignore it. Your heart is more tender than that sliced finger and it will take longer to heal. If your husband reveals or you discover porn use, then what do you do next? Do you call your best friend, your mom or your sister? Do you kick him out of the house? Do you pack a bag and leave? Do you tell your children? These are great questions and the answers aren't always obvious. Such horrible news brings the kind of mind-numbing shock that makes it difficult to think. I was there, I remember. And as a coach, I often am talking with women like you during those first days of discovery and I understand your pain, disbelief, embarrassment, and horror. I feel every emotion. Many clients want me to tell them what to do once they've discovered that he's using porn. And while I understand that desire because I had it, the answers aren't always the same for every person. The first question I would ask is, are you in physical danger? If the answer to that is yes, then you need to get to a place of safety and shelter immediately. And if you have children, make sure you get them to safety as well. But if the answer to that question is no, then I'm gonna ask you a few more questions. Just think about these. When and how did you find out about his porn struggle? Did your husband come clean when you found out about it and you asked him? How much have you and he discussed it? Do you have a sense of what you'd like to do next? Are there kids in the house and what are their ages? What result do you desire right now? In other words, if I were to ask you in a year, where do you want to be? How would you answer that question? What long-term outcome do you desire? That goes in hand with the one we just discussed. Do you have any resources on pornography struggles or being married to someone who struggles with porn? And the last one would be, may I pray for you? I know these are all questions and not answers and you want answers, but they're a good place to start. Because when you're in shock, you need to get your feet grounded before you can make a major decision. As a coach, I want to hear your heart. And if you're ready, I want to help you move from that brain fog, the, the huge emotional hit, to look at your very next step. Asking questions like these and others helps me guide you from the shock to taking your next best step. And that's the best for you. And then once we've established the groundwork, we can move forward. Often, through your answers to these questions, you discover little nuggets of wisdom that will direct your next step. And it's so exciting when that happens. And it's why I love coaching. Watching and helping you discover the path forward energizes you. Imagine yourself in one of those corn mazes where you can't see the end and everything looks the same, but you know there's a way out. Someone with a bird's eye view is critical in that situation and finding a coach to help you find your footing right now is as well. In my situation, my husband desperately wanted to save our marriage. He understood that what he'd done destroyed me and broke our marriage. He knew that he was a hair's breadth away from losing everything he loved and desired. The porn, though it enticed him, didn't fulfill his heart's desire, which was a strong marriage and healthy family. Thankfully, God directed my confused thoughts to reach out to those who would bring help and healing, not further division. So before you do something, I encourage you to take a deep breath and consider what to do next. 
I know you're hurting more than you can express. You might even feel like no one has ever been where you are. No one. No Christian wife. No thought we were fine wife has ever been here. But you'd be wrong. I was both of those things. Let's work to decide your next step. And together, let's untangle this mess. You will heal and discover healthy ways to work on your faith, personal healing, and marriage. Now, I'm many years beyond my destructive day, and I can tell you there is hope. Hope not just that things can get settled down and be good, but a hope to be in a thriving marriage. And for years, I wondered why God had allowed this horrible pain and rupture in our relationship, but not anymore. I believe God allowed this pain to draw me closer to him and to care for other women whose husbands are struggling with pornography. If you find yourself in this situation, please click the link in the notes below. Schedule that free Finding Hope session. I promise you that together we will find your way forward.